In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature which is added to version 1.2.1 of AC122 Made Easy. So I've connected my AC122U and if you go to this menus and choose this AC122 console. Now for, for those who do not have the software, you'll also get some information after this video some knowledge and you can use that knowledge in your own project. Now this console is very similar to the console you would have seen when you buy this A722. So here you can pass the commands directly to A722U reader writer. Now there are two formats one is the direct mode the other one is the APDU mode. So I'm going to use the APD mode and later on I will show you what the direct mode is. Now in order to demonstrate this feature, I will be using a UID changeable tax. So I also got many uh, questions from, uh, from my viewers about having the problems with the UIDs. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. So I went and brought a few UIDs uh, from eBay. I'm going to share those links with you. Now I bought a pack of uh, uh, two items of this and I do not recommend anybody because you know these uh, when you buy these type of cards you know it's a bit of a gamble and if they don't work you just have to bear these expenses you know. If you look at here a pack of five pays cost only 1.28 pounds. So I bought uh, two of them. So I got, I got in a like a pack of uh, a ten year, and I also bought the key fobs. So it says the UID changeable, and if you scroll down, there are some instructions on how to change the UIDs uh, using the phone. I've never tried that. So I also bought a pack of uh, a ten UID changeable, and as again, this is just a. This is because and this is a pack of 10 costing only two pounds 48 pence. So I'm going to change the UID. So first thing you do is you take you know either of this. I'm going to use a, a key fob. Doesn't matter because you know internally both have the a similar um, chip. Now when you place the tag you should hear a beep sound from a 72 u with the light changing from or flashing green. So this is called the auto detector auto pulling. So a 72 reader writer automatically detects your attack. Now first thing you do in this screen is activate. Now here the card has been uh, activated and also get uh, the UID of the tag. Now I have also I have made a I made few videos on explaining in detail all these commands. So I have got all these commands pasted here, and here the most important thing is the data starting from here. So this is the 16 bytes we are writing to the block zero, and I have got the UID as 21, 22. These are hexadecimal numbers: 21222324. Followed by the BCC here. This is very very crucial this data and followed by 0804 is the is the card type followed by the manufacturer data. So if I hit send What the program does is it keeps sending in you know, every command one after another one after another and eventually when all the command is sent we are going to say whether the write is successful or not. So here I know that this is successful right because the last one with the 410 is successful. So if I am going to take this uh, tag out and place it again, you can see that you know AC122 again made a, a beep sound. If I click activate, you can see that the UID, the value of the UID is changed. So it's very easy. And if you want to change the UID further, so all these all these commands, you know, they all got. I've explained this in detail in my other videos. So they all to do with something called as a magic numbers. 
So the most important thing for us is, you know, this one. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time on that. So I have got all the commands pasted here. Assume that we want to change the UID to something else. So you just have to change these four uh, bytes followed by the checksum. So I have got a calculator here. So this is just a, a standard calculator from your uh, Windows. So when you open that, go to the programmer mode and go to hexadecimal mode here. Now you have to be very, very careful with this because the value you're going to put in here must be it's a valid data. So assume that I want to change uh, the UID to 7, 8. So what this value here, this is the XOR of all the four bytes. So while you're in the scientific uh, calculator, the program calculator 78 XOR, I'm going to put 88 XOR, 98 XOR. So that's it, okay? We, we XORed everything and what we got is, you can say equal, sorry, okay. So, okay, so I don't know if it's, uh, it's right value. Let's try that again. So we are going to exit. I want to have my a UID as just first uh, 90, sorry, 78 followed by 88. So 98 followed by type, you know, say 91. So what we are trying to do here is XORing all the four bytes. So this XOR, this XOR that and XOR, XOR this, okay? So 78 XOR, 88 XOR, 98 XOR, 91 equals so this is the BCC, it's uh, F9. So you have to put the F9 here, F9 here, and I'm going to copy everything. Probably if you want, you can also change uh, all this data here. Assume that I want uh, A1 and uh, A2 and so on. This is some data you want to put here. So you're going to copy this line. So go to this program. I'm just going to modify the last line and I want to clear this thing and I'm going to send so here again so you might hear one or two beeps from ACR122 because ACR122 has a feature it's called the auto polling feature so it keeps you know automatically looking for a tag now so we're still not sure whether the right, the program says the right is successful because you know these are the responses coming out of uh, the acer one two two. So for example, this is what the command we send and this is what the response from the from the acer one two two. This is the command you send. This is what you get it. Okay. Finally, this is the last command is for writing to byte zero. Oh uh, sorry, uh, block zero, and you, this is the response. I know that a zero here. In the third position is a, a positive sign so I'm going to take this uh, tag out and place it again and say activate look at that so you got seven eight 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 nine eight nine one so how easy is that to change UID so I've got one more tag here so this tag so ac122 does not recognize this tag at all the reason is so when I wrote for block zero, the checksum was wrong. So what do we do with these type of tags? Now, you know, when we, I made a video on uh, Arduino, how to do this in Arduino. So I have spoken about uh, in Arduino video, there is a function called something brick, something to do with, you know, uh, brick uh, a function, you know, in Arduino, it says, a tag like this which you know so, which has gone something wrong with the the checksum can be reset back so I've not tried that probably you now uh, when I try I'll make a video on that as well so if you want to make sure that you know you are able to read and write everything we have just added a feature here called MiFi classic 1k 4k which is not completed 
So I'm going to it just you know reads the the tag content and if I activate it if I go to authenticate and you can see that you can authenticate with FFF or you can click here and the entire tag it reads this all the 15 or 16 sectors in you know, of this tag so so this this is you know so I just want to uh, you know I just cannot certify that all this blue URD changeable tag work it just you know like a gamble you just start to take and if it works if it doesn't work you know speak to the seller or if you're okay with the the cost of the tax and you know, I just have to try all and just uh, bin it so I'd like to show how to do that on a, a URD changeable tag as well just as a repetition of what I did before so first you connect uh, show the readers you see the one uh, which is here and go to the menu and choose a 72 to console I'm going to place the tag and say activate so here we're just going to copy paste I'm going to uh, keep all these instructions you know in the command section of uh, YouTube so you can uh, copy this and we are going to change to a different number this time so for that you need a calculator so I got the calculator this time I'm going to change it to 30 oh, sorry so I'm going to XOR I want the URD to be 30 and XOR 40 XOR 50 XOR 60 equals so it is uh, 40 so if I go back to my program here and the URD starts from uh, here no sorry not there it's so here so it is a uh, 30 comma 40 comma 50 comma 60 and and it is uh, 40 is the checksum just give it a try again I don't want to uh, spoil this tag so it was a 30 XOR 40 XOR 50 XOR 60 equals 40 okay so 30 40 50 40 okay and I'm going to copy this line and put it in this uh, console console so I'm going to say send and you know that it's a successful so I'm going to you know that this is the the current UID of this tag I'm going to take out this tag and bring it back again and if I activate you can see that the tag I UID is changed to 30 40 50 and 60 